last day of, uh, of this little sojourn. Uh, I'm going to head to Badoogle today. I look up in the mountains, it looks pretty, uh, pretty dark. I just hope it's not raining up there. But uh, yeah, we've left Lavina. Nice little stay there. I've got to keep an eye out. I just missed my turn off, so I was going to say better take it. Keep an eye on my GPS. But now I've got a turn. I'm a good navigator. Okay, so that's what the uh, that's what Google Maps have told me. Head down this road. Pretty narrow. So let's see what happens. There's the map there. Pretty easy to follow. So okay, we'll, we'll uh, head on and uh, wait till I get up the top of the mountain before I do any more video. A bit of concentration needed here this hour of the morning. bend in this road, this should be entertaining. Take the turns one-handed. How foolish can that be? I don't know what the map says here. Just turn right and make a few turn. All right, I've gone the wrong way. Hey, Badoogle. I'm uh, about halfway up the mountain now, and I've just found this little spot here. It's a nice little view over Lavina. I'd say that's uh, it's quite nice. I think that's Lavina straight down there. With that little, you see that little jetty there. Yeah, very nice view. Well, I'm coming to some little village here. Um, a beautiful dog line on the road. Hello! I just passed the school. I don't know what this village is. But it's pretty typical of uh, the village. The map says we've got to turn. Turn left up here. What do we got here? Let's have a look. We'll have a little look around here. Says we should turn left here. Please, but do we go this way? This way, in it. Okay, trim a cut here. Okay, but do we go this way? Up another big hill. What do we got here? I might stop here and get a... No, I don't think there's any cold drinks here. All right, we'll continue up this hill. Might look steep to you, but it's steep to me. That's a little village sitting right on top of the mountain. Well, almost on top of the mountain, I'm not sure where I am. It's a fairly windy road with uh, a few potholes here and there. Good for somebody who's a bit of a motorbike freak. I'm not a motorbike freak, I just use it as a mode of transport. Oh, look at this place, Tom. Don't be wary of dogs barking at you. Okay, we'll continue on. Hey, okay, well, I've stopped here to get a drink. A little village, and this is right on top of the mountains. I'm in the clouds. You won't be able to see it just now, but uh, uh, I'm right up in the clouds. So I'm fairly high. I don't know how high it is here. I'm going to duck in here and, uh, and get a drink. It's uh, actually pretty cool. And I've got a jacket, but I, I don't think I'll worry about getting it, putting it on. I'm tough. So this is a typical village, um, right on top of the mountains in, uh, in Bali. So uh, 
Oh, here's a big decision I've got to make. Uh, it says turn right, so. Hello. It's uh, by the looks on the faces of the kids. Um, I don't see too many Westerners up this way. No, why? It's a nice drive through here. Yeah. I don't know what this village is, but it's fairly big. Look at the map, there's some camping ground here somewhere. Nice and cool camping up here. Luckily, today we uh, haven't had any rain as yet. Cut wood. Okay, so we'll continue on. Well, I just turned the corner and uh, what do I see? I see this big lake here. Um, and also over there is another big lake. I think that's Lake Tambalingan. And that town on the other side, I'm having a guess that that's Badugal already. So uh, that was a fairly fast trip. Still a way to go, but uh, yeah, so that, uh, I think this lake here, there's a camping ground um, to the right of where we're looking now. So how you get there, there's another road going up, up around that way, so I guess that's where you would go. So yeah, we're nearly into Badugal, which is uh, unusual. I thought it was a lot further. But anyway, we'll press on. Isn't this a nice little spot? Have a look at the, the view from here. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure that's Lake Tambalingan and uh, and that's Badugal on the other side of that lake. So uh, Badugal is a pretty cool place as in temperature wise. Um, as you can see down there all those little silver things. Um, a lot of strawberries are grown here but other than that a lot of vegetables. Nearly, probably nearly Half the vegetables you get in uh, Denpasar would probably come from this area. Um, a lot of market gardens here. That's a nice view from up here. And that's but that's the northern end of Badugal. So uh, I'll go and try and find my hotel and then we'll have another look around. So this is the road coming down. Down from the top of the mountain. See Badugal over there through the trees. If I remember rightly, there's a lot of monkeys on this road, and uh, got to watch out from the fairly aggressive. Here's some up here. They can be aggressive, so uh, be careful if you stop to feed them. Little area there, mate, for people to stop at. Get my feed. Fairly steep climb this one. Be going up. Pretty radical going down, especially one-handed. Yeah, you see lots of young ones there. The cheeky little devils, these buggers. A mob of them there. As we get into Badugal, the traffic increases somewhat. Big haul for these trucks going up the hill. As you can see, it blocks the traffic a bit. But this road's a pretty good, uh, pretty good condition. And we're nearly at the bottom of the hill now. I believe this is a crater. Um, where we were on the top is part of a caldera from 
thousands of years back, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong, somebody could uh, check that out, put it in the comments. Got to pick up some strawberries here tomorrow morning, back home, sweeten everybody up. I, I don't like strawberries myself, unless I've got ice cream on them. You can certainly buy a few strawberries in this place. Okay, that's just about there. We're just about down in the uh, in the flat flat ground again. Fairly good hike through there. Quite enjoyed it. Well, here we are in Badugal. I found a hotel. Um, quite a nice looking place. It's not, a, not exactly new, but uh, you have a look inside, it's quite nice. It's got a nice little lounge there, television up there. There's two rooms, so they if it's only for one person, they lock the other room, so that's okay. I don't think I'm gonna have a party tonight. Got a little kitchen over there, fridge, nice and cold. Nice big double bed. And uh, yeah, it's quite nice. It's a nice little bathroom. Nice and clean, no mould anywhere. Very hard to see, there's not a lot of light in here. A nice big hot water system up there. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. Here at the telephone, you've got coffee making facilities here. Um, I don't know how you make coffee without a jug. The jug may be in the kitchen. Oh, you get a TV in your bedroom as well. Let's see if there's a... Oh, there's the jug, yeah. So you get a jug. You have to get some water. I don't think there's any water in here. No, no, no. In the fridge. There's no water in the fridge. So you have to get drinking water by the looks of it. Didn't see any here. Oh, you know, there's two, two water bottles there, so you can have a coffee in the morning. You don't have to go racing around looking for anything. Yeah, all in all, pretty good. This was uh, thirty nine, about thirty nine dollars a night, so that's okay for me. I'm happy. Now I just unload all that rubbish that I got on the bike. So this is where you have breakfast and uh, we talk about place with a view and very unusual this place, this hotel. All the rooms are uh, like villas on the left hand side and uh, there's some upstairs, some downstairs, two rooms. If you're only booking one person they lock one room off but uh, yeah, and there's a nice view of the lake down there as well. Very steep hill, I hate to walk up it, but uh, luckily you can bring your motorbike up here and uh, and have lunch or breakfast or whatever it is. So yeah, very nice. If you look through here, this first layer here is, uh, uh, looks like cauliflower to me, and all on those silver, or the this looks like silver or white are, uh, are strawberries. A lot of places in uh, in Badugal on these little farms you can uh, pay X amount of rupee and you can go and pick your own strawberries. That's a neat little thing to do. But, uh, I don't know, they just buy them from the shop. There's a lot of little markets on the side of the road that you can, you know, little independent places. That's worth picking up a, a box full of strawberries. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, part of the main town. This is the uh, the market. So any type of fruit you can get, you can get here. Believe me, there'll be a lot of it. Yeah, 
see we have one of the back streets of, um, of Badoogle. The streets are reasonably clean, a little bit of rubbish around, but uh, all in all looking pretty good. A lot of shops are closed, which is understandable. And uh, this road leads right behind a mosque. I notice there's two, I think there's two big mosques here in Badoogle. Uh, yeah, pleasant little town. Most people come here for the uh, the main uh, Hindu temple. But um, all in all, pretty nice. Plenty of places to get produce. Tons of places to get produce. So there's the main road going down into the township and alongside the lake. Now these are the split gates that everybody talks about in Badugal and um, the Balinese noticed that a lot of people were taking photographs of themselves at the gates so in their wisdom they set up a, uh, a toll box and um, they charge everybody I think it's about three dollars to get their photo taken. Um, yeah that's not a scam I don't know what is. So. Uh, yeah, before you could just walk up there and get a photo taken. That's the entrance to the golf course. Very nice golf course. I've been there before. But now you've got to pay 30,000 30, rupiah to, uh, to go there and get your photo taken. Can't believe that. But that's the way it is. Any means of making a quid. So we have a new road here. Um, Split up into two ways, so this one leads around the side of the lake. Uh, this is a volcano, of course, but uh, it's got a lot of fire in it. So there's a nice view back towards uh, the Google Township. I think there's another section um, which is, well, it's hard to explain really. Because you came in, you come in from another section, another area. This is all new, this. So the way you come in, I think you come in through a bit of a township. But this would probably alleviate a lot of, uh, a lot of traffic in the heyday. It used to be bumper to bumper through here. Most days with tourist buses and coaches and drivers and everything else. Okay, to, uh, to sum it up, this little trip around uh, parts of Bali, uh, very, very enjoyable. Um, unfortunately, there's not a, lot of, uh, not a lot of tourists around, so the towns are suffering a fair bit. Um, but the places I went to are, are the major tourist destinations that a lot of people go to, Ahmed, um, it was uh, very quiet, but if you're a diver, that's the place to go. Um, lots, of, lots of diving and um, snorkeling happening there. Uh, and Bend, which unfortunately I missed, because um, I couldn't find a place to uh, drive down into onto the beach. So, uh, so I headed on to uh, Singaraja. Singaraja is uh, the largest, well, it's the second largest town in, in Bali. Uh, I believe years ago it was a major port of Bali. Um, I don't know whether it was the capital, but somebody will tell me about that. If you do know, let us know in the comments so other people get to know what it is, what it was. Um, that's a vibrant little town. Um, place I stayed at, uh, the Singaraja Hotel. 
small rooms, but uh, nice and clean, tidy, service was fantastic. Um, and then on to Lavina, well Lavina is just one big sad package unfortunately. Lavina, the times I'd been to Lavina uh, are fantastic, you know, uh, heaps of tourists, um, all those restaurants in the main street or entertainment street um, have bands, uh, live music, uh, good food, we still have good food, but um, a lot of them are closed so, you know, that's a pretty sad thing. And now coming up the mountain, that, that road up the, the mountain, there's a few potholes, but um, a hell of a lot of bends. And uh, it was very, very enjoyable. Um, if you're a motorbike freak, it's the road to take for sure back up from uh, Lavina into, uh, into the highlands here in, in uh, Badugal. Um, and then from around Badugal, well, um, the main main events here are the, is the, the big lake and the, and the um, all the uh, Balinese um, temples and things like that. You know, as you can see, they're fantastic. Um, but you know, for me, I've been here 11 years. Um, uh, you've seen one temple, you've seen most of it. But uh, irrespective of that, it's a nice little town to visit. A, they've got a great golf course there, if you're into golf. Um, and all in all, the drive down back into, uh, into Denpasar, not eventful. Um, it's a, mainly a built-up area nearly all the way. You go through the mountains first from Badugal, down a little bit, get off the mountain, and then uh, you're back into traffic and uh, all sorts of drama. Just speaking of traffic, um, the whole drive, um, the traffic was next to nothing, you know, it was easy riding, it was just simple, simple easy riding. So my suggestion is you hire a motorbike in uh, in, in Denpasar somewhere, grab a backpack, put a few clothes in it, grab your camera and off you go. Um, you can't beat it. It's better than sitting around in bars in Legian and Cooter and what have you, sitting there, people watching. Get out and have a look at the real people. Speaking of real people. Um, yeah, get out and have a look at the countryside. It's, um, it's a fantastic place. My main concern is that they, uh, will they, will they survive? There's a lot of, um, a lot of domestic tourists still floating around you can you can tell them you know most of the women are wearing uh, jewel babs you know the muslim people from java um I, i'm assuming they're from java but uh overall fantastic trip and uh, well worth doing if you if and when you get back to uh, back to bali or first timers into bali try this for a couple of days you know it's a, to me, it was a seven-day trip, um, and well worth it. Well worth it. So, uh, don't be shy. Go and do it. So that's the end of our little saga, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the videos. No professional at doing videos, but uh, anyway, next time we'll see you at rubber on the road, in Indonesia. So take it easy.